So the first thing that you want to do when it comes to disassembling the Latitude E7290 is to take out the SIM card tray. And the SIM card tray is on the same side as the Ethernet port and it's just here. It's below the uh, micro SD card reader. And what you're going to use is you're just going to use one of these uh, SIM card pins that you get with your phone. You're just going to stick it in the hole where the SIM card tray is, like so. Press down and it, and it then comes away. So to take off the bottom case, the bottom lid, the bottom case, sorry, of the Latitude 7290, what you're going to do is you need to take out eight Phillips head screwdrivers. And they're here, 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 and here. So here we go. I'll just quickly take them off. Now I found these screws really hard to actually come out completely. So I've kind of loosened them as much as I can. And then I leave them in the cover as I flip it off. And then what I'm going to do is I've just got a plastic pry tool and I'm just going to kind of go between the, the case and the actual body of the laptop. And this is a good place to start up here um, at the top right of the laptop where the case is by the screen. And you can see that my lid has come off very easily um, you may and I've already taken it off once so that's part of the reason but when you do it you may just have to run the pry tool round under between the cover and the actual body of the laptop and then it will just snip off like so so once the bottom cover is off we can then take the battery out and the battery and you can see it here this large black uh, rectangle is held in by two screws, Phillips head screws. So you've got one screw here and one screw here. So we need to unscrew these first, put the screws in a safe place. And then also what you've got here is you the battery is held in with a plug here. So all we're going to do is the plug, the connector has a black tab for you to hold on to. Just gently pull it up and the battery comes away like so and we can see that this is a 60 kilowatt battery and the type is F3YGT it's a 7.6 volt battery when we've done all of that the speakers are here at the front you can see them there's one speaker here on the far right, one speaker here on the far left. The speakers are connected to each other by a blue and white wire. They are held in place by two Phillips head screws, one here, one here, here and here. And they have a plug to the motherboard, which is here where my screwdriver is. And you can see they've got a white and blue and red and black wire that um, connects to the motherboard.
So in terms of just taking the speakers out, all we need to do is take out the Phillips head screws that are securing each speaker in place. And then with our fingers, we can just, um, the speakers may be a little bit stuck, so just be wary. Um, they might come out very easily. They might require a little bit of gentle persuasion because there might have been some glue or something sticking them in place as well. And then you can see here as we take the right hand speaker out, the blue and white cable is actually held in place by some tape and also some brackets as well. So we just need to be um, very, very gentle as particularly as we take this tape off here. So if you can see black tape, let me see if I can. So black tape here, which I'm just going to peel away with my um, finger very, very carefully. And you can see just here, there's just a little metal bracket that it goes underneath. So we're just going to do that. Then the speaker itself comes loose. And then we just need to disconnect this connector from the um, motherboard or the circuit board. So I'm just going to get my, my pry tool and just help it on its way. Try not to be tempted to pull the connector out with the wires at first like this because the connector is probably sorry I'm not helping you there am I so I'm now working over here on the connector and I've just used my pry tool to ease this connector out and then once and then you can see that it pops out like so and then here you go Here's our set of speakers. And if we take a look there, let me see if I can just zoom in again to get this model number for you. Okay, that's struggling to zoom in on that. So I'll put the model number, the part number in the description and stuff. It's uh, two, two, three, triple zero, double X, double zero. And then the part number here is CN zero PV. YM2 FGD00. And there's our speakers for the L7290.